Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Happy 2017. It's a new year. It's a new start for several things, not just the year. For me, my biggest reflection on 2016. Yes, this, by the way, is the message of the day. This isn't a video game or some vlog. This is an actual, like, Christian message. Um, in case you were wondering, this is absolutely 100% not just me rambling, although I guess my messages are in a sense just me rambling, but yeah, my biggest reflection on 2016 is how fast it went by. I can't believe that the year's already gone. I can't believe I'm four months away from being one year on YouTube. That blows my mind. I can't believe that so much time has already passed. It's absolutely unbelievable. And there are certain things that I absolutely need to clean up. Uh, I definitely still need to get the editing thing done right. To have been on YouTube this long and still not have like a definitive editing program where I know what I'm doing to a small degree, at least to a small degree, I would say after, you know, at, at, the, at the year mark, you should probably know editing to a moderate to, to, you know, mildly advanced degree. And I'm so far away from that. Yeah, I do have a life set from YouTube. It's not like YouTube is my one and only business and I have nothing else to do but to focus on it. Obviously, this is not my job. This is not the, the main source of my income. But it's just like, you know, since I've been doing it for a while, I would think I'd be a little bit better at it at this point. And I'm, I think I've improved a little bit as far as like the, the uh, like, well, have I improved anything? <laughs> I'm not sure if the content has been greatly improved or not. It's basically just me preaching a message each day. You know, once a week it's it's long, the other six days it's short. And it's and then it's a either a video game or a vlog or just uh something I feel like is important. I'll put out and that's pretty much I I don't know if things have really improved over the last year. I know I finally found the video editing software. I'm still not well versed at all in it. In fact, I can't even edit videos because I'm so underversed in the thing that I've chosen and said, yes, this is what I'm going to use. So I, I approach this year understanding there are definitely things in my life that need to be tweaked, that need to be adjusted, that need to be changed because they're not where they need to be. They're not in a great place. On the positive side, even though it's like with YouTube, there's a lot of room for improvement, a whole lot of room for improvement. I'm going to keep on working. I'm not giving up just yet. On the positive side, just in my personal life, 2016 has been a great year of growth overall. I've seen a lot of mistakes that were being made that need to be corrected. They're not corrected yet, but at least I understand that they need correction now. In 2015, really... I wasn't aware of those mistakes and not I wasn't as cognizant of them as I should be now I feel like I have some ideas to what I need to do to correct just some things in my life that need correcting and once again I know that they're there I acknowledge the fact that they exist and overall 2016 was a good year uh, it was a prosperous year it was a it was pretty much a healthy year didn't have to go to the hospital for any things so thank you God for that I'm sure there, I mean, I've definitely been there before and I've definitely had surgery before, so I know what that's like. Glad 2016 did not include that. And for those of you who didn't know, 2015 was the year that my mom died. So 2016, there were no personal deaths in the family. That's another huge, huge plus. Sometimes the pluses are simply the things that didn't happen. There's a saying called, no news is good news. I'm a big subscriber and fan of that theory. No news is indeed good news. Didn't go to the hospital. No one died. That helped contribute to an overall great year. Things went well. Enjoyed it. Had fun. Spent time with people. Learned a lot. Grew as a human being. Can't complain. About 2015, yeah. There's a major complaint there. 2016, not so much. No real major complaints. Just a good overall year in my life and very thankful for it. Moving forward into 2017, I want to keep growing. I want to keep moving. 
I have, I have plans stirring around in this noggin of mine and things that I want to do in YouTube and in just my personal life, which if the time and I believe it, of, I think it you know, makes for good content, then I'll put it on here. And what I was reflecting on for 2017, it was mainly along the lines of, you know, okay, 2016 was good. How can 2017 be better? Whereas in 20, at the beginning of 2016, I was like, okay, I've mostly recovered from the death of my mom. You know, how can I look forward in life just in general? Because so many things were rearranged at the time of my mom's death. <clears throat> so 2017, it's just a chance for me to really look forward and to adjust a few things, tweak some things, grow into some things. I want, I would like YouTube to be one of them. That is one of the goals. And thinking along the lines of spiritual things, isn't it just right to, you know, there, there are always going to be times in our lives when we look and we say, okay, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing mediocre that could be done great? It sounds very practical, and it can be very practical. It doesn't, it doesn't have to involve God. But as a Christian for myself, it certainly does include God. And spiritual things and I would like to encourage you to make it a spiritual thing as well for those of you who have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior maybe that's something you might want to consider giving a little bit of thought into maybe there are some things in your life that you know just aren't right and you need to stop now is a really good time since it is the beginning of a new year now is a good time to reflect and I'm not a huge fan of resolutions, but I am a huge fan of repentance, and that's, that's a biblical word. I wouldn't have that word if I wasn't a Christian. I'm a big fan of repenting of things that are bad, turning completely 180 on them, and doing what's right. And while New Year's is a great chance to reflect on that, it doesn't have to be New Year's. It, 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 because it's New Year's, we kind of think along those terms. And so, you know, let's do that. At the same time, we're not limited to New Year's. If we, if we see something that's wrong or that's awry, we don't have to wait until the next year or the next month, not even the next day to change that. Let's change it now. If we've recognized it and we see this as a problem, let's change it now. Why wait? If there's something that we could add to our lives that would be better for us, better for our families, better for our business and our communities, why wait until the new year? Let's add it now. Because, because it's the new year, I'm thinking about these things and what has transpired. A lot of people get you know, um, nostalgic, and a lot of people start thinking about, you know, what could be tweaked in my life, and I've been thinking along those lines as well. And what I've got to consider is the fact that, you know, let's, let's not just limit this change and this repentance. And for anyone out there who's not a Christian, once again, maybe think about becoming one. Uh, strongly consider becoming one. Now that it's the new year and we're thinking about these things, absolutely, let's think on these things. But let's not limit the change to just the new year. If something needs to be changed, let's do it now. The idea of repentance, uh, 1 John 1, nine. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That doesn't just have to be the new year. That can be any time if there's a sin let, let's do let's let's repent let's not like yeah we'll just we'll linger in this another you know another few months another few weeks or at least a few days no he is faithful if we confess our sin he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness let's not wait for the new year to do that let's do it now if there's something that needs to be done better or something that needs to be done with a little more oomph to it yeah, it's the new year and we're thinking about it, but let's just, let's not limit it to just the new year. Let's not just wait around and linger around and wait just a little bit longer. Colossians 3.23, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. That's not just the new year. Let's, you know, we're focusing on it now, but let's keep in mind, you know, if we see something midway through the year, let's, let's not wait until 2018 to change that if we if we see something in the month of july or august let's not wait around for the next five months let's change it now 
Let's do something now. Let's, let's take a corrective course of action now, not later. New Year's is a great time to focus in on that, but let's keep in mind it's always a good time. It's always a good chance to reflect and to focus and to try to change things around for the better at all times. I try to do that because it's the New Year's. I'm particularly strong about it. It, 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 It's kind of unavoidable because it's a new year. Let's look at at what's happened in the past year. Let's see what needs to be improved in the new year. But I do try to be introspective year-round. I recognize the fact that as a human being, I need to keep in mind I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And me being able to be corrected or me looking back should not just be limited to once a year. It does need to be a constant thing, a constant monitoring, constant reminders. So I can be the best person I can be. So I can be the best Christian I can be. So I can be the best Jesus freaking gamer I can be, doggone it. That's important. I want to do that for you guys. And I want to do that for myself. And I want to do it for my Lord. And I'd like to encourage you guys to do the same. Hopefully it is another great year for me. Hopefully it's another good year for you guys. And if there were some things in 2016 that were lacking, that were bad, let's move forward in 2017. Let's work hard to make sure that this year is an even better year, an even greater year. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.